Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Tamim and today we'll be taking apart the headlights on the SL55. So this is going to be a three part series of me showing you how I essentially took apart my headlights to paint the inside to give it more of a modern look. In addition, I'm going to show you how I restored my lenses to factory new. But for this video, what we're going to be doing is cleaning these up first and then taking them apart. So first things first, remove your headlights and grab a nice APC and start scrubbing it down real good, getting all the dirt and grime out of there because you don't want to work with a dusty and dirty headlight. Our next step is to turn on the oven to 225 and let it preheat. All right, so while the oven's preheating, let's go ahead and take apart these plastic covers on these lenses. So it's about four tabs, you just pull them up, lift them up, and they slide right out. If you're having a hard time lifting them up, an easier way that I figured out you can do it is also by grabbing a flathead screwdriver and lifting them up that way. Surrounding it are a few clips, you just use the screwdriver to take them out. All right, so the next step is optional, but I went ahead and did it just to be safe. I grabbed a wooden cutting board and let it cool in the freezer. And the reason is because those metal bars get hot and they could melt the plastic housing of the headlights. All right, so once the oven is up to temp and your headlights are ready to go in the oven, take your wooden cutting board out of the freezer, by the oven, and then bring your headlights over there, have it ready to be put in the oven, throw those puppies in the oven at 225 for about 20 minutes, and let's open them up. meaning I've already done this process already. So I have a few tips and tricks that I could share. It'll be easier for you to take apart the headlight unit. The first thing we did was remove the ring surrounding the projector lens. You don't have to remove this first, but we decided to do it. The way these rings are held in place, there are two clips on the 12 o'clock position and the six o'clock position holding it in. Once you've undone those clips, it should wiggle right out. So one of the few things that I recommend is drilling two holes in the back of the headlights plastic cover. By drilling these two holes, it'll allow ease of access to two screws that are sitting in very tight spots. You don't have to make a drill to get these screws out, but it does make the job a lot easier. Over here, we're taking out the turn signal bulb. Here, we're drilling the second hole to get access to the tight fitting screw that's in there. Again, you don't have to do this, but we did it because it made it easier for us to unscrew and take it apart. Once all of that is completed, there's one last screw in the middle. You can see it right there. That is also connected by a joint. Once you remove the screw and the joint, the whole assembly should come out of the housing unit itself. Once the internals are removed from the housing unit, it's fairly easy to remove the remaining screws holding the assembly together. Only tricky part that's left is getting this projector shield off. You can do it one of two ways. You can one, unscrew all the bolts until everything completely comes apart, or you can slide it out. You can remove that screw, these three screws we just did and it should slide right off.
Once it slides right off, the only thing that's holding it in place are a few clips. And again, I really recommend to be patient throughout this whole process when you're dealing with the clips because they easily break off. As you saw, the ring broke off easily. We're going to glue that back on together, but it's, it's not going to be the same. So please keep my warning. Please be careful. Once the shield has been successfully unclipped from its unit, congratulations, you can finally start the process of sanding and painting down everything you've worked so hard to take apart. Now I painted part of the reflectors for the high beam, honestly don't recommend it. I did it because I wanted more of a stealthier look. But if you're going to install a projector in this unit, might as well take it apart. I'm showing you how to remove that shield that's covering the high beam bolt. Once you get that removed, you can easily sand this part down, paint it up, install your projector, and be totally done with it. And that's it for the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll do my best to upload a video every week. Thanks again. Bye.